mental health has been struggling lately, especially with recent news and all of the recent shootings that have been going on. When that happens, I like to escape into realms of fantasy and whimsy and pretend that those problems do not exist. And I also tend to reach for these types of videos when that happens. Hopefully this gives some reprieve to some people. For a while now, I have been gravitating towards the Hobbit core aesthetic, if you will. I think a lot of the stuff that I already have kind of fits under that aesthetic, but I just, it brings me so much comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. I think I found myself gravitating more towards hobbity, hobbit core things in thrift stores right now, so I figured let's make a video about it. If you've been watching my videos, you probably know that my boyfriend and I were in a house, we were in a rental property. Thanks to inflation, the rental company decided to increase our rent by a lot. And instead of paying $2,200 a month for rent, we decided we can't do that if we're ever going to try to save for a house. We downsized from a three bed, two bath house with a pool and a beautiful yard to a one bed, one bath apartment. I absolutely love the area that we're in. It's kind of a historic district of Phoenix, which obviously I love. The problem here is that it is essentially roach infested. Um, yeah. Luckily, we have cats. My little kitten has been our little roach hunter and he has managed to catch them. <laughs> I've only seen one that's been alive, luckily, and that was a whole endeavor. We definitely realize that they are nocturnal insects, so they do come out at night, and that's when, luckily, we aren't really bothered by it during the day, at least. Um, it's just in the morning, it's like, am I gonna find one today? It's not a great feeling. <laughs> Especially since this is where we live, we try to like stay as clean as possible, but I've read that even the cleanest apartments and places can still have roaches. So that makes me feel a little bit better. It's not like we're disgusting. It's, I honestly think it's the building and I think it's the area, but it's just something that we've had to deal with. And I figured why not make my roach infested apartment cute? So that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna start with this um, main living, dining, kitchen room. It's just like a big square room. And I think that's where the focus of this video will be. Here we are in the room of requirements. What treasures might we find today in the room? Let's take a look here. Oh look, I found a bitch. I do have a couple new things that I've thrifted recently that I think are very hobbity. Other things are probably things you've seen in my room makeover video. And if you're coming from that video, hello, welcome, thank you for watching. And I guess without further ado, we'll start doing some Hobbit makeover. That was a terrible intro. I don't even, I don't even know what that was. This is the little couch that we used to have on our patio outside and as you can see it's very sun faded and it's got this kind of ugly chevron pattern that I don't like. So I decided I'm going to cover it up with this cute little afghan crocheted blanket thing and turn it into a way cuter little grandma couch and I actually think it is pretty cute. One of the things I'm going to be working on is a gallery wall. I have a lot of fantasy and kind of just like nerd dumb things that I want to put into this gallery wall. I was very kindly gifted something from a company called Hodo 
short for home tools. This is their cordless power drill. That's the first time I'm using it and I'm very excited to try it out. So we're gonna do a little bit of a... If you don't have a drill, sometimes what I will do is I'll just hammer a nail into here to make a hole and then go in with a screwdriver. And that's an easy way to do it if you don't have a drill. <laughs> And no hand is complete without a little crystal. Thank you very much to Hoda for gifting me this, and I'll link it down below. not cute picture inside of it and I knew that you know it's a big frame I could find a piece of art to put in this. I was cruising around the internet and I found a fan art piece from Lord of the Rings. I knew that it would fit perfectly on my gallery wall and in this apartment so here is the piece. This is just a poster that I ordered from Walgreens. I did it all online, I picked it up and I stuck it in the frame. I had to cut it down a little bit because it wasn't exactly the right dimensions, but I, it still fits. So this is my giant piece of art on my gallery wall. Do you ever see a piece of art that you're just like, that, that is me. That is my, everything about it is just, and this, this is that art. This is a piece by Annie Stegg, and I found her on Instagram, and she's absolutely amazing. She is very talented. This is called Cat Bat. And although this sign may not look like a fantasy sign at first, but it does remind me of the Rose Tavern at Disneyland. It looks like it should belong in the entrance of a cottage in the woods where you would just go for breakfast and eat porridge and berries, and I love it. I do apologize if you hear some humming background noise. There's nothing I can do about it. My neighbors have literally set up a 40 foot inflatable slide out in our courtyard. You, you can't make this up. They have tables set up as if it's an event. Truly no words. I just wanted to talk about what I consider Hobbit core to be. So for me, in my opinion, Hobbit core is sitting in the middle of the Shire reading a book under like a large tree, lots of textures, lots of natural fibers, mushrooms and toadstools and berries, old books, dark woods, lots of greenery, it's moss, teacups and tea parties, fresh flowers. Did I mention moss? Like just a lot of moss. This is your sign to get a teacup and stick a little tea light inside of the teacup and it makes a candle and it's actually really stinking cute. Today is actually a cloudy day in Phoenix, which is a very rare occurrence. So I'm feeling a little on the cozier side today. So this shelf I've actually had for a year or two now and it was in my room makeover video. It's a little wonky, it's a little janky. I added this thing on top of it because there's no really way to open it otherwise. And this hinge is just like an Allen wrench. It's like a little writer's desk. I just have random craft supplies that I've been keeping in here. Buttons and just like tins because you can't have enough good tins to store things in. 
So yeah, that's the inside of this in case you're curious. Serious hey, no! You're too fat! Well, oh, you're too fat for that, buddy. <coughs> no! <laughs> the chaos! Ramos, no, baby! Second I open this, the wolves descend. I think we're at the point now in this Arizona summer that I'm wishing for rainy days, I'm wishing for cloudy days because it just gives like a little bit of reprieve from the heat. Like even right now I'm just sweating. <laughs> the thermostat says 77 but it's set to 79. I think that's the one thing about living in Arizona, living in the desert like this, is that it does get to be so hot and there are days where I wish I could just like sit under a tree and see some like real grass. I mean, to be fair, there's trees and grass here in our courtyard, but it's just not the same. I don't really know what I'm doing, in life or otherwise. I feel like I've lost a lot of gusto for life recently, honestly. Times where I'm like, what's the point of it all? It sounds really depressing. I'm fine. I, I'm fine, I promise. Mostly fine. There is one little thing I have to show you. I am always on the hunt for a good plant stand. I found this little, I don't even know, it must be a plant stand, but it's a book. <laughs> what it? Oh, that would be so cool if that opened. It's like the perfect dark academia, whimsical library little thing. I just thought it would look so perfect in the corner here. Also, my other tip, if you want solid planters that aren't expensive, look in the bakeware department at the thrift store. It works really quite well. This is another thing I figured I should worth mentioning since it's very hobbity. But this is actually a run-of-the-mill cat tower that I um, floofed up with some stuffing. Staple gunned in this red fabric and then painted on white spots with just acrylic paint. And then I was going for like a wood, like a half of a log for this part, but it didn't really translate how I wanted it to. And the, the cats absolutely love sitting in here. We just call it their mushroom. I think eventually I would want to put Maybe some fake grass on the bottom right here. Maybe that can be a project. Okay. When the morning standing at your door, morning standing at your door. Brighter than the mornings come before. Brighter than the morning. Don't be late. Here's a fun new development. I don't know if you can see it, but our ceiling is leaking because it's currently raining. And we have a bucket here to towel. This area of the apartment is probably the area that needs the most work currently. I think originally it was supposed to be used as a sort of dining area. But since we eat most of our meals at the couch, <laughs> we don't have any use for a dining table. And we also got rid of our dining table when we moved. So we currently have a little couch in its place. Instead of an actual dining room, I thought it could be used as kind of a reading nook. It's got a cute little couch. It's got a bookshelf with all my books on it. And then I want to kind of just organize things because it just doesn't look cute right now. It's very unorganized and dirty. And I want it to be more of a space where I want to come and like sit and relax and just like read a book. Hey baby. Hi. As you can see, this is currently where our recycling resides. I don't really know where else to put this because we are so limited on space. So as of right now, it's just kind of our recycling area. I would like to change that and make that go away. I did thrift this not too long ago. It's just like another little wicker plant stand. Weeks later. I'm balancing you on a piece of laundry, which probably isn't a good idea. I'm a professional. The last thing that I filmed was like three to four weeks ago. I've had COVID since then. I was out for about two weeks. You can probably tell I'm still a little stuffy. I have like lingering, essentially just cold symptoms right now. But yeah, I was taken out for like two weeks. Was not able to film. Um, it's actually kind of funny, my boyfriend and I, we had cleaned the entire apartment, made it all look really nice and ready to put on the internet, 
and at the end of the day I was like oh no I'm feeling really crappy <laughs> and we both got hit with COVID so um, we unfortunately were not able to film that that weekend this reveal is long overdue I hope you enjoy the final apartment transformation and and if anyone says that COVID is not a big deal they are lying because it absolutely kicked my ass so just wanted to throw that in there <laughs> Hope you enjoy the reveal. Hello! Welcome to the Hobbit Home! Come on in! Welcome to our tiny little roach infested apartment. As you can see here, we have our foyer with abundance of shoes, with um, not the greatest uh, organizing skills, but you know, it is what it is. We have two black cats here. Over here you can see my failed herb garden, and it's all dead. Over here we have my workstation, because we're both uh, currently working from home part-time. So this is my little desk area. And then up above you have the beautiful gallery wall with all of our nerdy fantasy art swords as one has on their wall. I also, this is where I do my sewing, so I have my sewing machine just, you know, on the floor for easy access. This was the chair that we had on our patio and I could, did not have the heart to get rid of it, so it is currently in the kitchen and I turned it into like a little reading nook. So we have our plants, bookshelf, my sunflowers right here. If you want any indication on how long this video has taken me to make, um, in the beginning clips of this video, these were like this big. <laughs> so it's taken me a little while to make this video. For those of you that are going to yell at me for letting my cat be on the counter, we let them go on the top ledge, okay? On the top ledge, but not this part because they are creatures that like to climb and be up high. So. We let them go on the top part because we spoil them. So here's the kitchen. As you can see, pretty, you know, normal kitchen. And actually, um, <laughs> this guy has grown so much. As you can, like, this is how much this guy has grown. It's a little crazy. Oh, did you want any freshly baked cookies? And then this is a weird clear cabinet that we have that I don't really know what to do with, so I just put my cute stuff in this one, and that's about all we use for that. Over here um, is a clock that I found at an antique store that does not work, but it's cute. Okay, let's go this way. This is probably my favorite part of the apartment, is this little like living area, a part of the room. And over here we have our couch, same old couch. This is our industrial fan that uh, my boyfriend thought was necessary to buy. And when I say industrial fan, I mean industrial. When we come back from walks and it's hot as fuck. Over here is uh, one of my prized possessions. It is a wicker 70s shelf that I thrifted for like $14. Um, these go for like $300, so it's one of my favorite things ever. Our portraits, like we're time travelers and we brought this back from like the past. Give me a second. <laughs> You're hip. I know, hold on. I have to fix it. The people need to see. And um, in my in my strawberry thing, there's um, little strawberry candies. So here, you can have a candy too. Over here is the bookshelf that you've seen. And I made this Nocturne Alley sign because I wanted to. I know a lot of people were very curious about where I got the ship painting, but I actually thrifted it and that is also one of my prized possessions. And I do not know who the artist is, unfortunately. I think it does say Chang at the bottom, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> this is what we very lovingly call the study or the office. The goal was originally to have it be like a reading area. As you can see, it's not necessarily the most inviting place. 
I'm not gonna show you the bedroom because um, all the crap that we didn't have room for is just kind of thrown in there. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so as you can see, it's not the biggest apartment, but we tried to make the best out of a not the greatest situation, but it's cheaper, which is all that really matters. I hope you, you like this video, and now you need to get the fuck out. Get, get out of my get out of my apartment. Get, get out of here. No, you need to, you gotta get out of here. Get, get out. Goodbye. Bye. This is our very organized, oh gosh. Just ignore, ignore the bottles. This is, come on. You should probably start over. Why? <laughs> it's pretty bad. You're so <laughs> close. Oh my God. So this is what we, oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. That's <laughs> that. I'm recording. Well, hold on, just just hold on to your hands. Hold on to them. I'm holding. Can I'm, I be in your video? I'm, I mean, if you really want. I want to tell people that I felt it and I want my credit. Well, you can do time. I want to tell them that, you know. You get one percent of the royalties from the video. <laughs>